Welcome back to Patrick Boyle on Finance. Today we're going to talk about what derivatives prices are telling us about market expectations for the upcoming 2020 US elections. We'll talk about how US stocks and bonds are possibly pricing in slightly different outcomes and what international stock traders appear to expect. Implied volatility is a forward-looking expectation of market standard deviation. It tells you how volatile or how risky derivatives traders expect markets to be in the near future. Implied volatility differs from historical volatility in that it's not calculated from known past returns of a security. The implied volatility of an options contract is backed out from an options pricing model by inputting all of the known inputs in including the market price of the option, right? So instead of actually solving for the price of an option, you take the price that it's trading at in the market right now, you put that into the model, and you solve for standard deviation, which is one of the Black-Scholes inputs. And that then tells you how volatile people think that underlying is going to be over the life of the option in question. It can be thought of as a weighted average of all market participants' best guesses as to how much an asset will move about in the future. Implied volatility is such an important feature of options markets that professional options traders usually talk about options in terms of implied volatility rather than the options premium price. The reason for this is because traders are usually betting more on the volatility or the standard deviation of the underlying rather than on the direction of the underlying. So if they wanted to just bet on will it go up or will it go down, it's easier just to trade the actual stock or whatever the underlying might be. When you're trading an option, you're usually trading a combination of direction and volatility, and you can then hedge out the directionality and just trade the volatility, which is what a lot of professional traders do. So within banks and hedge funds, options traders are usually referred to as being volatility traders. So that introduction brings us around to the VIX index, which is a real-time market index that represents the market's expectation of 30-day forward-looking volatility. It's derived from the price of options on the S&P 500 index and gives us a measure of market risk and investor sentiment. Sometimes you'll read about it in the newspaper and they'll refer to it as the fear index because usually the higher implied volatility is, the more people think the market is likely to move around and therefore the more fear there is in the markets. Investors look to this index as a way to measure market risk, fear and stress before they make investment decisions. If you're interested, you can just look up the level of the VIX index and you can see a chart of its price history online. So traders are placing their bets right now on how volatile the stock market will be around the upcoming U.S. elections on November 3rd this year. While the VIX index is derived from options pricing models, today futures contracts exist on the VIX index, which allows traders to actually bet on volatility without even trading options. Right now, if you look at VIX futures prices, you can see a kink in the pricing around October and November 2020. And it's at levels previously unseen around US presidential elections. The chart that you can see on the screen right now is showing the levels of the VIX contracts right now compared to the equivalent levels at the last four elections. As you can see, expected volatility is higher now than it was for these prior elections, and there is a noticeable bump around the election date. What that tells us is that options are pricing in an S&P 500 move of at least 3.5% just on the day of the election alone. Now, this possibly relates to the big swings that occurred when the results of the last election were announced, uh, where the S&P 500 futures actually went limit down in the overnight market when the election result was announced, before then rallying and finishing the day up. So it's a very volatile day in March. Markets. 
Monthly futures contracts on the VIX index usually slope gently upwards, as investors normally have to pay more to insure themselves against longer-term volatility, and that should hopefully make sense to you. The contracts that are maturing around the end of October, November this year are unusually expensive. The US stock market has rallied to new highs of late, and we've just seen the biggest August rally in 34 years. The, the last time we had a bigger rally in August was in 1986. The increasingly combative rhetoric between Democrats and Republicans in the United States and the risk of greater political unrest around the election are clearly worrying options traders. The VIX index itself has been creeping up over the last month, climbing to 26.75 at the time of this recording, which is slightly above the long-term average. Now, usually when you see the stock market going up, you'll see implied volatility falling, so that's a little bit unusual. Implied volatility for the end of the year is still higher than normal, indicating that traders are positioning for the risk of some turmoil after the election. The market might be concerned, we'll say, about a disputed election like Bush versus Gore back in 2000. The US election could have spillover risks for global equity markets too, as you might imagine, because there'll be a lot of trade issues and so on tied into the election. But we're not really seeing similar risk being priced in in global markets. It's largely in the United States that we're seeing this. Interestingly enough, though, derivatives prices indicate that investors expect calm in the US Treasury market over the same period. The move index, which is the equivalent of the VIX but for US government bonds, remains near record lows, calmed largely by the US Federal Reserve's aggressive monetary stimulus program. According to Goldman Sachs, the bond market might be pricing in a Trump victory, as historical data suggests greater Treasury market volatility when there's a change of control at the White House. Let me know what you think of all of this in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you later. Bye.